Number 27. Radar is used to determine distances to various objects by measuring the round trip time for an echo from the object. Letter A. How far away is the planet Venus if the echo time is 1,000 seconds? So um, what I can do is I can give you a simple formula here. All right. So let's say uh, the velocity is going to be equal or the speed. Let's call it the speed. The speed is going to be equal to the distance over time that we know. OK, but here's the thing. If you're going to be using the echo time, so I'll put a little sub E down there. If you're going to be using the echo time, then what you have to be using is the total round trip distance. OK, the total round trip distance. Or what you can do is you can erase then the round trip distance and you can plug in then two times the distance or the one way distance. OK, either way, however you want to do it, that's fine. But anytime they're to asking you to solve for how far away, they're asking for the uh, the one trip distance. OK, or the distance just between the two. So I'm going to use this formula. The speed of the light, uh, that's the speed we're talking about because we're talking about radar. All right. And it's going to be three times 10 to the eight. This is going to be two times the distance. Now, the one way distance, that's what I want to solve for divided then by the time, the echo time, 1,000 seconds, all right? So when you solve this for D, take out the calculator, and it's going to be 3 times 10 to the 8, multiplied then by 1,000, and then you got to divide that by 2, all right? So this is 1.5 times then 10 to the 11th meters, all right? That is then the distance. All right, so that takes care, I guess, of letter A. Letter, letter B. Uh, what is the echo time for a car 75 meters from a highway uh, police car radar unit or police radar unit? So this is now going to be same formula, two times the one way distance, all divided then by the echo time. So to solve for echo time, just simply cross this on out just like this. So the echo time here is going to be two times the distance the um car is away from the police officer which they said is 75 meters divided then by the speed again it's the speed of light so the echo time here will be 2 times 75 all divided by then 3 times 10 to the 8. so about 5 times 10 to the minus 7 seconds that's the echo time so let us see, how accurately in nanoseconds must you be able to measure the echo time of an, uh, to an airplane 12 kilometers away to determine its distance within uh, 10 meters? All right. Um, so why don't we start with our formula? Uh, why don't we start with, um, I don't know, the speed is going to be equal to 2 times the one-way distance divided then by the uh, echo time. So I want to solve this for echo time. All right. Now remember, this is two times the one-way distance, all right? Now, essentially, if we, if we want to measure the distance within 10 meters, okay, that means that this is the important quantity that I have to plug into my formula here, all right? Because that's what I'm trying to measure. I'm trying to measure the echo time, the accuracy of the echo time in relation to the difference in the distance here, all right? Not the total distance that it's away, but the 10-meter distance, all right? So the echo time here is going to be 2 times then 10, all divided then by 3 times 10 to the 8. So the echo time here is going to be, let's do it. So that's basically 20 divided by 3 times 10 to the 8. That's going to be now 6.67 times 10 to the minus 8. All right, seconds, but they want it in nanoseconds. So divide that then by, if you want, 10 raised to the minus 9th. And that would be 66.7, 66.7 nanoseconds. And that takes care of that. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully that helps. And I'll see you in the next problem. Take care.